We've got cover on morning. Morning, everyone. We, um, All two of you. <laughs> still got the birds being fed out the front. Um, but last night we uh, we went to the pub and we fancied coming back to the room because we're still on UK time. We're still knackered by about 8 p.m. So we were like, let's go back to the room, put a movie on, contact the butler and ask for a few um, Banks beers. That's how many she brought us. Four case. Yeah. And we leave tomorrow. So, <laughs> I can't drink them all. <laughs> I think it's slightly challenging, you know. I know. Got to, got to try and make them all. I know. I expected like four to come up, but yeah, that's that's how many we got. Like the alcohol poisoning. Definitely. So we're going to have a good night tonight. <laughs> uh, we're now going to breakfast. Um, another buffet. We could do one of the restaurants, but I just can't be bothered. I like just going up and helping myself. Yeah. Um, I like buffet. I like a buffet. A buffet. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going by the European pool again today. Um, not, the, not the beach, but I've got my um, GoPro again. So I'm going to try and film under the water when Dean's chilling. So, see you in a minute. I'm lost in your energy. You got me feeling weightless, no gravity. Reading glasses on to see this camera so small. <laughs> Put me shades on so I can see because the sun's in my eyes. Just sitting here by the pool. There's Emily, I'll show you her face, not her. But yeah, you can't show, yeah, because it's, yeah, it's a bit boobyish. Can you see you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Without your boobs? I can see my, my face, yeah. Oh, good. I'll try not to put my boobs in the shop. You well. can put your boobs in the shop. I mean, no one wants to see that. Everyone wants to see your boobs. Well, they are quite manly. <laughs> We've been sitting here laying by the pool. We've had a lovely relaxing all the day. We've been feeding the cat. Yeah, little pussy cat at lunch. Yeah, no, breakfast, if anyone ever I mean. goes to a resort and you see animals there, don't assume that they get fed. Yeah, because that cat looked really skinny. Might be really old though. Might be really old. But. I've got liver by mistake this morning for breakfast and I don't can't stand the taste of liver. Maybe because when I was young watching Happy Days, the funds didn't like liver. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he ends up giving it to the cat. But I got, yeah, I don't know why I got it. It's uh, a massive chunk. And the cat loved the liver. Oh my god. I sat there slow blinking at us. Yeah. yeah he's lovely. But you lay here by the pool thinking of your life, didn't you? I was thinking, God, when I was 16, I was an hairdresser working in the West End. And now I'm a lowly builder. A lowly builder. <laughs> you built our ass. Yeah. We I, went on the I, beach. I, I, I've never told anyone this, but I had Whitney Houston booked in for the next day. My boss told me, and I was well excited because she was the biggest movie, uh, biggest, not movie star then, she was the biggest pop star in the world. I was all excited and the next day I came in and they went, oh no, she's cancelled. I'm doing her manager's there. <laughs> You're almost claimed yeah. to fame. So I don't know her manager's there, but apparently her manager was her girlfriend at the time. I'm, I'm not sure why. This is all whispers you hear, isn't it? But she was lovely. And I said, why didn't Whitney get her hair done? And then she went, oh, she does it herself occasionally. She just couldn't be bothered, I suppose, to come to the salon. If she'd have known was who was doing her gutted. hair, I reckon she would have turned up. Used to have loads of famous people going to that salon though. David Leonard. Frost used to be in there every day, David Frost having his hair blow dried before you said going the name to work. Of the salon, some people oh Leonard, know it. Leonard's in Mayfair. It was in the Intercontinental Hotel, wasn't it? Nicky Clark trained there as well, oh. and uh, John Frieda. Yeah, it was in the Intercontinental and in Mayfair in Grosvenor Square. Does anyone know it, comment below. When I was working in the Intercontinental, Leonard's client came in and Leonard he used to get drunk at lunchtime. So 
so I had to go downstairs to get him out of the bar. And I went down there, and I, and I'm, I see Leonard at the table, and I went on, went over to tell him his client was in. It was Jack Nicholson sitting there, and Michael Caine sitting there with him, getting drunk. And he went, "Come on, lad, just sit down, have a coke." So Did I sat, I sat there and had a coke and didn't say a word because I was just starstruck. <laughs> How old were you? Seventeen, eighteen. I used to do the customers there really drunk. He was a brilliant hairdresser, but God, did he get drunk. <laughs> Didn't you say that, because um, it was in the Intercontinental, um, at the time you had uh, all the oil barons Oh, yeah, over? yeah, they, we used to get... I remember we used to... Michael I worked with... Uh, I can't remember if his name was Michael or Robert, because they, they had two of them, so they had to change his name to Michael. I think his real name was Bob, Robert. But he used to do people's hair and he'd go, oh, there's an... I was cutting this uh, A&R man, they used to call him for the music industry. Right. Cutting his hair and he said, oh, there's a big band coming out. You're really going to hear about them. Called Living in a Box. Living in a Box. <laughs> living in a Box by Living in a Box. By Living in a Box. And see how old that my stories are. Didn't you used to get the bottles of champagne now for all the people that didn't drink alcohol in the room? Yeah, you... Well, the Muslims would come in, didn't they? Staying in the hotel and they don't drink alcohol. So, so they were in the suites. They'd put them out of the room because they didn't want them in the room either. So I used to go around the hallways picking up bottles of champagne. <laughs> drink them after work if I was going out on a Friday night or a Saturday oh, night. Right. Lovely. Free, free champagne. And it was that Don Perignon stuff as well. It was really expensive stuff. Yeah. Lovely. Whilst we've been here, one of the habits that we've had every single day is we go to Café de Paris uh, get an ice cream and a coffee. Dean gets his normal boring Café Americano. I get an iced coffee and we get an ice cream. Dean always goes for the same old boring vanilla. Vanilla, you can't go wrong. <laughs> and I always try a different flavour. Today is maple... I can't almond, it maple, maple and almond ice cream. It's delicious. I'm going to miss that when we go. It is delicious, yeah. But you got a smaller portion than me. Mine's massive. People like you more than me. Yeah, I think they do. Yeah. They think I'm Australian, I don't know why. <laughs> Surfer do. Like an horrible Australian, not a nice Australian. <laughs> we had some couple the other night when we were in the monkey bar and they said to us, um, we've got a bet going. We bet that you two are Australian and you were like, No. Close, Londoners. <laughs> Like to say good day. Good day. <laughs> We've been laying here for about three hours and there's a mass of clouds to the left and above us is blue sky. But that mass of clouds has been there all morning and it keeps moving but never quite reaches the sun. So it looks ominous, but it actually isn't. We had the same thing yesterday as well. There was a couple on the beach said to us that they thought it was going to start chucking it down. It never did. Is that rain clouds on your eyes? Well, they've been there all day. And we just spoke to our butler and she said it's been threatening for days. She went, but it hasn't rained. I'd like it to, like a big old thunderstorm. This is like the, the clouds just go near the sun and dissipate and disappear. yeah we're going back to the room chilling out we've got a case of beers to get for it. yeah massive case yeah we're gonna go chill out and um, we might pop out again the zarvo we've got a bottle of rum a bottle for, of vodka a bottle of whiskey gonna get wasted a bottle of gin. and we might stumble to the pool later I would like to have a night swim, you know. If you weren't so worried about mozzies. I think if you've got a drinking problem, you need to notify them. <laughs> Not to leave all that booze in your room. Oh, yeah. When you come here. Because that is a lot of booze. Well, even just then, we got invited to um, the staff, like, Thursday. Football. Thirsty tournament. Thursday, she said. Yeah. And she said, we get invited to go and watch them play football. It's called cocktails and things. Yeah. 
constant. They keep looking at us like we're weird when we go places and we just ask for water. <laughs> Why don't you want three shots of rum in a, in a fruit punch? Oh, just water. Paris is open till 10 o'clock, 7 a.m. till 10 o'clock. Seen that here? We've That's been sitting there, down. and that jacuzzi is so hot. My feet were a bit, little bit burnt from the sun. I can't put my feet in it. That's the fainty one. You're supposed to faint if you stay in there too long. Look at this like jungle. We had our butler moan at us today, didn't she? Look at that. See? Yeah. She, we, she found us at Spices at lunch and she was moaning at us because she said you two are giving us nothing to do. Yeah, they're moaning that we're not lazy. Asking, we're, not, we're not lazy enough. <laughs> like we, we would go up and get our own pizza <laughs> and they're like, why didn't you ring us? We would have walked over the 10 yards and got it for know, you. I know, because a lot of people do. They lay on their sun lounges and they get the butler to go and get them uh, their pizza or lunch. Look at and that, it's, just it's behind like, them. You can hardly see the buildings where it's so tropical. This place is amazing. This time I've been so relaxed here. And we've had a troublesome year. A lot of stress and a lot of heartache, family heartache. And this has just really lowered my cortisol levels. Just stress free. Should we go and have a nice cup of coffee? Oh, it's a little pussy cat. That's the one that hit my uh, breakfast this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Hello little pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Little boy isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Hello gorgeous. You enjoyed my liver this morning didn't you? Mm -hmm. Shame I didn't give him a drop of Chianti innit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's too much, too much. What's that one? Blueberry cheesecake. Oh, look at that, blueberry cheesecake. No, I'll just have a coffee. Yeah. Through the undergrowth, there she is. All the trouble I have to have in my life. Sorry, I probably got a good shot there. <laughs> There's the trouble. Look at all that beauty, look. All that beauty. Yeah, he went, oh, you get a good shot there, did you? <laughs> he didn't realise I was looking at the trouble behind the bush. Look at that. It's amazing. Even look, the bottom of the tree is full of flowers. You could do some serious yoga in here, couldn't you? Oh, and then my stress has come back. <laughs> uh, honestly, since I met you, my stress levels have gone so far in a different direction. And uh, we're back at our. Well, there's probably loads of videos of this area. It's just so pretty. We've done a lot of videos of this area. I don't care. Oh, I joke about her being stressful, but she's a little cracker. What a lovely smile, beautiful white teeth. Oh, that is so hot, that. Isn't it? Yeah. 
We see, we see two monkeys climb down the tree and get in there. One of them went to the other one. <laughs> the other one went, we'll put some cold water in then. I'm cutting out. <laughs> she hates my jokes. How do you get away with just holding a bloody camera and have to carry everything? Look at that, look, look. She's talking with her mouth full. <laughs> I usually <laughs> that's, carry... that's the key card. She's, I think she's going to swipe it with her nose. I usually carry the camera and everything else. It's not easy carrying a camera in the camera and a coffee, you know. It would be easier to have a swim up room, wouldn't it? I suppose she wants me to help her. I suppose I'll press the button on the lift. This has been like our own private lift. I don't think I've ever pressed the button and the lift ain't been there. They've got the ice machine on this floor as well. They've got an ice machine yeah. on this floor as well. Yeah. I'll translate for that. Only the dentists would have understood what she said then. We're going to the other side. Yeah. What's this side called? The Royal or Royal. the Royal? Yeah. That tree. And is that the uh, thingy tree? Yeah. I can't remember. There's a sign saying it's a fancy tree or something. Yeah. It's a flamboyant tree. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, look, there's chickens. This really does remind me of Hawaii. Yeah. We're going to go in for a meal, I might show you what we're eating. You never know. I will, I'll make sure we uh, do. We should fly over my food really yeah. slowly with a camera. Really slowly, because it winds him up. Yeah. Alright, see you in a minute, love you bye. Cut that out because it's the Mona Lisa that well, is. Well, we're going to have to cut it out anyway because we're going to get copyrighted. Oh yeah, just as I walk over here they play music. Can you see the stars with that camera? Uh, nah. Yeah. Oh no, that's the tree. Is it quite warm coming up there? Yeah, it's quite warm. That's what you need on a nice hot night like this. <laughs> yeah, you can tell where you are, can't you? There's a few signs here and there. Just in case you forget. Yeah. It's um when I watch the walk rounds online, <laughs> I don't get it. Right. Hey. <laughs> 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 oh, we got the film you star. Are, you be on YouTube. Hey. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> there she is. Lovely. I've got the blue tree in. What was it called again? It's the Fandango tree. The Fandango tree. Yeah. Right, we're back in the room. And we're back in the room. And we thought we'd say goodnight to you all. Good night. Love you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. It's the end of the holiday tomorrow, so. Yeah, love you, bye. Um, yeah, we had our last evening meal tonight at Chi, um, which is Asian fusion. Um, you just seen it? Yeah, I know. Well, don't tell them again. That's what people do on the vlogs all the time. They go, this is what we're going to do. This is then what they show do. you what they do. This is what and we then did. we're going to sum up what we did. Well, it was lovely. Well, we're just going to show you and then not sum it up. I want to go for a swim, but Dean doesn't want to because he thinks we're going to get bitten by bugs. 
I have been bitten about four times. Yeah. And I do use D. Yeah. I, but I think it comes off when you're in the water, obviously. Yeah. And then and I think that's when I get bitten. Sit by a pole and drink the cans of beer that we got. <laughs> well, the thing is, our butler is worried about us because we don't go out and socialise. We're not watching the entertainment either. We go back to the room and relax in the evening after our meal. Well, tonight's show tunes. Isn't it? <laughs> and you hate show tunes. Oh, God. I, my sister was into drama, so she, I had to hear that all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> show tunes is my nightmare. We actually might need to pack our suitcases because we, we did move in. We spread. So, um, yeah, I think I might actually start packing my suitcase. <sighs> Very exciting. All right, love you, bye. Love you, bye. Here's Emily. <laughs> We're going for breakfast. I wanted a video now, because the, the sun's not up properly, is it? No, the moon is out still as well. If you, as we walk around here, you might catch it. There it is, <laughs> up there, look. Thank you, Oh, yeah. Because the sun's not out properly, the lighting looks different. How pretty everything is. Is them all? Last breakfast in paradise. Oh, just a shot of Emily looking at Instagram. We came off of it for a while because we had some loss in the family. She just activated the account again, haven't you? Yeah. Because we got we've got to get on with living, haven't we? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful this place. I've, I've never relaxed as much as here because we can't normally relax, me and Emily. No, we like never. going around, walking around, and looking at things and can't sit still. No, nope. even our other all inclusives that we've done, we haven't relaxed. I know, but this has been amazing. Oh, let's go and have a nice breakfast. Look at that. That's how close it is to the beach. And there's the grub. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. Here we are by the pool. Got my feet in the water. There's Emma. We got um oh, she's got a GoPro there. We used to have a GoPro when we first started vlogging. Um and this is the GoPro. Uh -huh. But I got this case for it for when we go on one of our next holidays with the family. This can go underwater. She's not wired up, is she? <laughs> now I've got three got cameras to carry around and a phone and batteries and, and, and batteries. I've got like so much stuff to bring with us. It's ridiculous. She's Miss Rucksack now. She carries a rucksack with all the camera stuff in it. Look at that. This is beautiful. Try not to get anyone in in case they don't want us in, in shot. So we've just had, sorry for the shaky camera, I've got my phone and the camera. We've just had our, I'd say last meal, but it's clearly not going to be our last meal. Because we don't check out till five and you can still use the services and facilities up until the moment you leave property. So um, we're just going to go back to the room, sort our bags out and then do another wander. Yeah, just take the chlorine off. And yeah. Then we've got about four hours and then we leave. Yeah, that way, that way. Four. Oh, hold that. I'm going to take the photo of you. Oh, she likes doing these photographs now where she stretches everything. Oh, a pano photo. <laughs> Still with you, in it? <laughs> she managed to get me in a pano photo. Where are you going? Oh, I went. She'll learn. Today is the hottest day, I would say. Yeah, I don't think I could take my t-shirt off now. I'm just, I'd be burnt to a crisp. Yeah. So it's just perfect, really. I didn't move though, it goes blurry, doesn't it? There she is, my nutty wife. Having panna pan photos. Sounds like something you eat, doesn't it? Like panatella or something. You know where you get everything in though? Because the um, palm trees are so high, you don't get them in otherwise. You just get no. them. One last look from our balcony. 